how can you cleanse data in Microsoft server excel to turn columns like these to these or to turn columns like these to these cleansing data in Microsoft server excel it can be hard at times sometimes it can be very easy as well but whether you are dealing with a hard task or easy task there is always a solution and we're going to go through in this video so microsoft exec data cleansing task can be as easy as just you know just removing some special character using find and replace uh, whereas some you might have to use some formula and some other tricks that we're going to go through in this particular video um so the approach that you use for one particular one might be different from the approach you use for another one so i'm just trying to zoom in uh to show you a few example um so for example this particular data um is movie um, information um so i'm going to put the link actually to, in the description box below of where i got this data from i'm not going to do 100 percent all of it so i'm just going to do a few to show you so for example one of the techniques uh, for data cleansing is um, find and replace so we can see on this column of the year um, so if i zoom again uh, a bit more so you can see these characters that are here so this is talking about the year that the movie uh, was released so actually let me make this a uh, top row let me make it bold um and then maybe put um you know something on the in the background so that we can see it more a bit more clearly um so one of the techniques is to use uh, find and replace um so i can just go and select this particular actually we want only the day so like for example uh let's say we want it to end up to be something like this so this is the way it's supposed to be year yeah so and all of this one um so the way best way is to well <laughs> there's no best way i guess there are a variety of way depending on what you're doing or who is doing it so if i just select all of these and um actually before i do that um let me just let me select this you can start from this side or from here so but let me just start from here because i, I can because i can just get rid of all of this uh you can see that this appear similar like that um so what i'm going to do first is to select all of um uh, yes all of that and then i'm going to highlight that and then i'm going to go and do find um find and replace so replace so this anywhere something like this appear replace it with nothing then i'll do replace all so you can see that 3000 yeah about 3000 as is gone yeah so and um yeah you see notice that there are see a few so i'm going to go and find this specific one and what i'm going to do with this is that i'm going to try and put a space so like for example this one right uh, so what i wanted to if i do this manually what i want is to have a space between the first year and the second uh the other year that is there so i'll go and copy this one yeah i'm going to then highlight i'm going to go to find and replace and i'm going to uh do replace again i'm going to pop this in and then i will replace that with a space just one space yeah replace all so you can see that that is gone now so now the next thing that i want is uh, i want to get rid of the open bracket and all the open bracket and close bracket so and i mean because i'm explaining that's why it's slow so this can really be done really very quickly in no time i'll pop that there replace it with nothing i'll re remove that space replace it with nothing so you can see that uh, and then there's a close bracket as well i can put close bracket there and then replace it all so now you see we've been able to but there's something else there is that sort of like a minus um so if i go again um i can just re remove that those minus so you can see that over three thousand 
uh, as well is gone so now you can see that this data is now um, fine and clean but something that you can even go further actually to separate um, the first year and the second year so because some of them have just one year of release maybe the other one my some have uh, maybe released twice maybe part one or two or maybe they update the movie or something like that so some of them have um, two years there so you can go ahead actually and separate the uh, this column into two whereby you use uh, column to um, text to column uh, so which you will end up to have maybe you might have a first release and second release or something like that uh, so which you can just maybe create like a highlight and then do um, a right click and insert um, another column there sometimes I insert maybe to, to be able to get enough space here uh, to not affect the other part so I can highlight that and go um, um, to data and from data I can do um, text to column and then so I'll use the delimiter delimiter is something that separates it so which is a uh, comma um, so comma is what separated um, so and then I'll finish but you notice that that didn't work why did that not work so it's just because there might be something um, you know there maybe that actually is a different type of comma and that's why it didn't work so in most cases sometimes what you do, might do is just to copy this specific to copy only this specific one so and because sometimes you type in one computer or you, you are downloading this the um, information from somewhere and that is not the character you are actually seeing with your naked eye so if i copy that um so uh, which is my keyboard actually so if i just use uh, copy that and then I'll go back to text to a column. So the limiter I will put specifically what I copied. Um, I'm going to paste that there. So you can see now that that has now properly recognized it. So but the one I was typing on my keyboard wasn't working. So if I go, uh, just go next. So and. Um, it, uh, well, it's just asking whether I do I want to replace um, the yeah there is already data here do you want to replace it so I'll just say okay to that so what now have, what I now have is that you can see now that I have uh, the one that have the two uh, year two, second release so they have that so I can just change that to um, uh, maybe a year of uh, of first release or first release or something here yeah, first it doesn't matter whatever um first release and i can just put the this one as year of second second release so this one it just depends on what title was the appropriate that title depending on what the data is so that's what that is but what the most important thing here is not really tied to is the father you know we're trying to cleanse it so you can see that this look um, much better now, um, you know, compared to what was there before. Actually, I should have actually um, done a copy of um, that column so that to show the difference what um, what it was before. So, but anyway, so now we can then go and I can show you another uh, one, another part here. Uh, so here now we got uh, this uh, this part here. So, which is really a big one actually stars um so this if you look at you can quickly look at the data itself so looking at this data we know that you know this is talking about director this is uh, stars so we're talking about filmmakers here yeah, the filmmakers so director and and the stars in the in the movie mainly so but if i go and click on one of these you can see that it's not even showing in the um, in the formula bar so why is it not showing there is because it just got quite a number of uh, you know space and you know, some maybe some special characters as well this uh, vertical bar it's just all kind of like um will be 
um, really very challenging to do this, but we will do it anyway. So um, the first thing I would like to do is that, you know, when you look at, you can see the space bit before, uh, so and possibly there is the space afterwards as well. So that this one, for example, you can see that, you know, yeah, so there's a space after, there's a space before. And in most cases, you, you might, there might even be some other special character there that are not visible, so which it can be a bit tricky. So what we could do is to use two um, particular, so firstly, I'm going to actually just, I'm going to create a new column. Uh, so this new column I've just created, which is uh, this column high. So I'm going to uh, name it, I'm going to title it uh, film maker, film makers. And then I want to um, use two function here. So I'm going to use first use cleanse. Uh, so it's a function that I can actually use to get rid of any special character that is there that I'm not actually seeing. You know, there can be some, um, yeah. So I'm just going to do that first. I've cleansed, but after cleansing, you can notice that there is a space before. So I'm then going to use another function. I'm going to use this function called trim. Um, so trim and then close the bracket. Um, and then you can see that that, that is gone now. So I, and then I'm going to auto fill. So now we got that column. So, but I still want to really separate the director from styles. So what I could do is to use, um, is to uh, create another, you know, column so that I can have enough space uh, to be able to use text to column um, as, uh, yeah, so as it was used earlier in the year. So now I can just, um, I can separate using, uh, so you will notice that in the place where they are, uh, where they have, um, you know, director and stars together. Um, so actually, let me actually use, let me get rid of the formula for now. I was just going to copy all and then I'm going to paste it with our value, um, just the value alone. So now I've got it here without the formula. So what you notice is that you have the stars and the, so, and something really common is that wherever there is a director, and stars together, you tend to have this a uh, vertical, you know, vertical, um, um, vertical bar. So this vertical bar, I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to use it as a basis to separate. Um, so I'm now going to go to, um, I'm going to go to, let me actually make sure that I got another, I usually like to have enough, um, uh, so like a column or enough space for me to, to play around with. Um, so now I can then go to, yeah, so I'm going to select this, uh, this bar, um, vertical bar, and I'm going to go to, uh, data. So I'm in data and I'm going to select, yeah. So I like that column data. I'm going to text to column. And now I want to use the limiter of my vertical bar that I you, you we used comma last, last time. So vertical bar, I'm going to pop that in there. So you can see now that the line as the demarcation line is there. I'm going to go to next and then not, no, nothing really to done here. Finish. So, and then it's again, is asking, do you want to replace here? So we've been able to achieve using the vertical bar to separate. So, which means that, you know, wherever there is a director and stars, you have director on one side, you have, um, you know, you have the stars on the other side, uh, not another column, uh, but what we then end up to have is that we still have, you know, directors and stars inside with this particular column. So, but what we want to end up to have is to have uh, directors in one place and then stars in another place. So what we can do, uh, again, there are a variety of ways to do this, so, but what I we want to use is the formula. Um, so which the formula, um, I've written it already just to save time, but I can explain it a little bit. So for the directors, so I will use this formula and then I'm going to explain what I how that formula works. So I can pop that there and pop the formula. 
so we're not dealing with column j not h so i'm just going to make sure that everywhere where there is a um uh, h i'm going to make sure they have a j in there so uh so now we have that i can yes um uh, so what that what this formula uh, does is uh, for me to explain very quickly is that i've just gone in here to be able to find um you know to find wherever there is a direct wherever the director word shows here yeah so if directors uh looking is for it to look at you know to look at this uh cell and because i know director is um eight characters it is what make up that, that, that director so i've just asked it to go and select to find from the left to find the first eight characters and if that first eight character if is director which that one is then i want it to um to just extract you know to extract after character eight so starting from character um you know starting from character 10 because i'm skipping the column starting from character 10 to be able to just you know to 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 bring all of those uh, to just extract all of those and then to uh, pop it of course to pop it here so but in the case if there is no because that's if statement so in the case if there is no so this is if this um this is my logic and then if that is true for it to extract anything after character 10 um to extract the but if it is false then it should just not put anything so if i then autofill if i autofill so what you will notice is that you see all of these places there isn't a director there that's why this is all blank and then you can see if i scroll down yeah so you can see here because there's a director here that's why it's just got extract that um you can see director here as well it's just extract the name so that's how uh, that uh, that works then for stars but remember that star is um, appear in two places so it's just going to be um to extract it for here we know it's only stars here i'm going to come to that later so but for this particular one it's just um it's uh so i can then use that sim a similar formula so which i've got here as well a similar formula um so which is this um i'm just going to pop it here for the stars and then uh, again i'm going to make sure that all of these are k uh, because we're not dealing with column oh no sorry we're still dealing with column j sorry uh j and then i'm going to make sure i mean you can do find and and uh, replace as well for this uh so i'm going to make sure that so you can see that director here nothing sure if i autofill so you can see that everywhere here where we got stars you know stars comes here wherever we got um a director nothing shows there and don't forget that we still have another column so you will notice that any column where there isn't anything here is likely going to be the uh, stars there so and what i can do actually is that i can just make this one um i can just remove uh i can just do replace in terms of like just replacing this with nothing i know that this will be stars this column is only stars so now i can just check a little bit you can see that you know stars so it's the same thing that is uh, really very common stars so i'll i'm just going to copy all of these and then i'm going to go and use replace i'll go back to home i'll do replace and then i can then pop that in and then i will replace it with nothing uh so you can see over 5000 so that is gone now so now i know that this column is stars we now know that any blank here in these stars here then supposed to be the uh, the stars here so remember from the original uh, you know column so we got 
directors and stars in some where we have only stars there so wherever we have only stars stars are already here and wherever we have a director and column you know director and column has been split to um, director here and then uh, stars there so and then we've removed the uh, leading um, uh, stars that was there so which then means that we can then just you know change this formula slightly to mean that we already got this one here right so we can just change this formula slightly so it's almost like um so we're changing this formula slightly to say that you know we are looking for where so we copy this part uh so where is at uh, where is going to uh is finding stars there so we are asking this instead to say that if if uh then we put, put, paste that in there so we say if it's not star it's not star so if it's not stars no we don't want that question mark if it's not stars what do we want it to do if that is true then we want it uh to be this one instead if that is true we want it to be this but if it is false then it should be if it is false then it should be this original um, you know formula so close that get rid of that space and then we need to then you know so if it's, if it's false then it's be that and then we need to then put the close bracket to close the bracket so now you can see now that if i then uh, you know autofill it so you would notice that you can now see clearly that you know the uh, wherever everywhere where there is only stars the stars are there and then wherever there is um director um wherever there is director let's actually move this a little bit so we won't need these two columns anyway uh, we won't need that or that this column we won't need it anymore um so wherever there is stars stars automatically are here and then wherever um, uh wherever there is uh director and then you got director there and then you got the stars from it there so you know so that with that formula we've been able to do that we've been able to get uh um you know separate director and stars so which means that this uh now we won't actually need to anymore so that can be i'm going to hide it for now anyway so but that can then be deleted so we now have one uh you know from one um you know horrible uh actually let me undo that let me uh, unhide uh on height so from this sort of like a um, horrible looking thing uh so we now have to we now have uh actually let me just uh hide these two this ones yeah so from this one horrible thing now from this horrible thing now so we now have we separated to director and style so that look more cleaner this is a very good example of data cleansing um that's taking a bit of the time um so but something else i want to show you is um from this particular one is uh yeah so let's look at this column here so this column here is another example of you know you have company name so depending on what this is what this number you notice that there is a two uh one two three, you will notice that there is a, a number dot you know another number so that's like three characters then so um depending on what these last three characters are I'm not sure what they have so but of course if you have been given the tax to do data cleansing so you we have a bit of idea more information of what that is so i want to uh create a new i'm going to create in certain uh, some new column as uh, to be able to give me more space really that's what i like to do so we know that this is constant it's constant this last three character which a number is constant so what we want to do first is that uh so i'm just going to call this uh company name this company name um you know that we want here anyway well, I don't, i'm not sure what those are but even if we need them we can actually uh, let me actually do to separate both of them um so i, no, I don't know whether i don't know whether uh reference or something whatever it is about let's say i just want to separate these two um so all i will have to do is to get 
um, is to just use um, you know formula as well. So I'll do equals. I am going to let me zoom a bit more. Let's zoom a bit more. Is it zooming or not? Oh well. Anyway, so I'll do uh, equals. So I want to um, get. I want to get. I want to extract. Uh, actually, let me do this one instead. So I want to extract those last. Those three. So uh, those three last three character. I'll do um, left. Um, so I don't know. Is it right from on the right? Right instead. Sorry. Uh, equals right. So this right. I want uh, from here, right? And then I'll do comma, and then how many? One, two, three. So three. So, and then I'm going to. So you can see that that now autofill. If I autofill this, then I have those, right? But in terms of the company name, then, you know, they are not fixed character. You know, this last three uh, character is easy. So because it's, you know that the, the three last three character are the one with numbers. So, but the company name actually, they are not fixed characters. So they're not fixed number of characters. So that can be a bit tricky. So, but it's still possible. So I'll do, uh, I'll go first go and find the length. The length, I'm going to find, I uh, use this function length of this was the length so the length this is the, the length is 15 characters so if i actually have to fill so you can see that the length they are different so but i'm going to i know the last three are always um the last um uh, part are always three just like in the case of yeah so i'm just going to then minus i'm going to subtract three so if i subtract three then i know that Subtracting three means that I've taken out those last three, right? I'm then going to now go and do uh, left. I want to select from the left instead. I'm now going to do left. I will just left function. So left. So what do what left do I, I want the left? I want to select that, and then the second part. What number of character I want to select? The number of character there. Yeah and subtract three so i can then now close the bracket see what happened then that just you know auto fill you know that automatically just give me you know so that's another uh, you know another um, technique so you can see that you know a lot of this isn't really i'm going to get rid of this column so a lot of this is not really like one uh, size fit all so it just depends on what you are actually doing uh, specifically what um, you know, I mean, this is where there are quite a number of things that can be done in terms of like, you know, cleansing these as well. Um, so, and uh, yeah, so and this, this one as well. So we can just see this like as well that, you know, I don't really think we need this glass door. You know, I mean, by the way, this is like um, information possibly um, extracted from glass door website. So we don't really need all this glass door. Or we, we can actually just get rid of it. Or we can put it in the, I can just um, uh, put it in the in the title actually. So you can put it in the title. We know you appear once, and then, and then we can just go and do uh, find and replace. So we can do replace, and then I'll pop it there, and then I'm just going to replace all. So you can see that. That, that, is, that is more tidier than just having that appearing everywhere. So, but well, not forgetting that I've actually deleted from here. So I'll pop it back here. So now we can have it at the, on the, with it, uh, at the tie to, and sometimes as well when it comes to money as well, money is another one that you could actually just have the money in the, in the tie to, and then just, yeah. So, you know, these are, um, sort of like um, a, a lot of different ways really um, that you can do data cleansing so there are quite a number of things that can be done but I spend enough time already um, so I'll, if you have any question leave in the comment box below and thanks for watching and God bless